Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song by Becky G called Shower. And it starts off with this cool little string line. If you wanted to kind of follow those notes of the, of the string part, you start with the open B string, and then we can play fourth on the D, open G, four on the D, and then third fret on the B, open E, and then third on the B, and then second fret on the B, and then third fret on the B, and then second fret on the B. So kind of start off with that, it's kind of our intro part, kind of that open four, open four, three, oh, three, two, three, two. And if you wanted to, you could even back that up with bass notes. And actually, I, I was kind of digging on this uh, doing hybrid picking, so I'm using my pick for my basses and my fingers for the other notes of the lick. But you could add in the third fret on the low E string for the open B string. And then you could play fifth fret on the A string for that fourth fret on the D. And then open four. Second fret on the A for the third fret on the B string. Open B or open E, third on the B, and then open A to kind of back up that second fret on the B, third on the B, second fret on the B. So you got kind of three and open, five and four, oh, four, two and three, oh, three, open and two, three, two. It kind of kicks off the tune. And if you wanted to back that up with chords, you could start on a G major chord. And when you play G major, First finger goes to A on the 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the low E string 3rd fret, and 3rd finger on the high E string 3rd fret. And if you strum all those together, all the beautiful sounds of G major. Now you may also want to think about putting the 3rd finger on the B string 3rd, pinky on the high E 3rd, kind of working that voicing for your G major. And then from the G, we can go into a D major chord. When we play D major, 1st finger goes to G on the 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the high E 2nd fret, 3rd finger on the B string 3rd fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, it sounds a D major chord and it sounds really happy. Now you may also want to think about lifting the second finger, like a dangerous finger to lift. That makes a D suspended second. Or you could add in the pinky on the high E third for a D suspended chord and kind of stay some things around the D chord. And then from the D we'd be going to a B minor chord. We'll talk about some easy options here. But normally you do, do this as a second fret bar, second finger on the B string third, Third finger on the D fourth, pinky on the G fourth. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a B minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. Now if you lift the pinky of that off, that makes it a B minor seven. And an easier way to play B minor seven would be doing first finger on the A second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the high second, kind of working that for your B minor. Or especially if you're digging on that four finger G major chord, you may want to do first finger on the A second, second finger on the G second, Third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. Kind of working that as a, as a possibility for, for, the, for the B minor. And then from the B minor, we'd be going to an A major chord. We play A major. First finger goes to the D on the second fret. Second finger on the G second fret. Third finger on the B second fret. And if you strum all those together, it sounds an A major chord and it sounds really happy. Now, while you're on A's in general, it can be kind of cool to lift the third finger, make that an A suspended second. Or you could add in the pinky on the B string third for an A suspended chord and kind of say some things around the A major chord. And that's our intro progression with that string part, but it's also kind of our main chorus. It's kind of that G, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, D, B minor, A. And I'm kind of just doing an eight down count on each of those chords and adding a little bit of right hand muting with, with our right hand being that a little sneaky. So maybe kind of a cool way to kind of work it on that intro if you just want to strum through it. Or one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So to the G and just try that a lot. You got down, down, up, 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 down, 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 down. So we try that through that intro progression. Actually, and this can be a little bit challenging, but you could use a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the B, right now we're dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up. And we're one, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is, is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. What I mean by that is we take the G and do it down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what 
that's what you're doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down, up. for this tune, but you can definitely get that to work too. That G, down, 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 D, down, 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 kind of thinking on that. And then from that intro, then we go into our main verse part. Now, here's this cool little bass line. I'm kind of shifting this five octave. But you can play the open D string, and then go to third foot on the B string. strummings we were just talking about. You could kind of work just that eight down count. D, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, D, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, D. Or you can dig on the down, down, up, up, down, up. that with any of the, those strummings to actually kind of G, kind of do a down idea. to the song though is bass notes and a lot of times on that first down of the down down up up down up you can throw in a bass for the chord so on the D you'd have the D for the bass on the G you'd have low E for the bass on the B minor you'd have the A for the bass and on the A you'd have the A for the bass so we could kind of work basses into our verse part you just have that D with the bass down up down up Is a bass down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, or bass, bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, or bass, bass, down, down, up, up, bass, down, up, down. You can all be cool variations. So you have a D. three times and then we go into our, our chorus part so we could try adding basses to that and then you have the G down around these chords too, you know, feel free to kind of take this lesson and kind of run with it any way you want to. Or you may want to bring back those intro legs, kind of open, 
four and five. That's the basics of how you could strum through Shower by Becky G. So, good luck. <laughs>